We got the fish bowl right here, and you may choose your question. You have chosen question number nine. Number nine, mm -hmm. and number nine is from the vice governor's office. Okay. Yep. We actually have the question in the back. That is the question yeah. from the vice governor's office. I'll be reading the question twice. Your question is: Education is key to many social improvements. What educational goals would you focus on to drive change to your community? Again, education is key to many social improvements. What educational goals would you focus on to drive change to your community? I believe one educational goal and the most important educational goal of all is access to quality education. Because how would our children, how would our youth be able to achieve their own educational goals without having access to these wonderful and creative learning systems that the educational sectors and the teachers have given for them. Which is why given the chance to have one educational goal to be given focus on, that would be the educational access to quality education. And I believe our government is doing its best to really push forth educational access. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our first finalist, that is Lin Ai Sam Hawaiian. Having that Lin access Lin. as well to that beautiful answer. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Ayun, Robbie, I just like to remind every Negro Sanos right now sa Panaat Stadium to let our Lin Ice finish answering first yes. before you shout and cheer for them, okay? Yeah, I bet these guys can't contain Ayoha. their excitement anymore. <laughs> but pasok sa 45 yes, seconds. Yes, 45 seconds. All right, and now, one down, nine to go. Nine to go, and I'll be announcing the second finalist to join our top ten, and that is Lin Ice. Red tonight. That's right. Good evening. Please with your question. And you have chosen question number six. six. Yeah. Your question is from Rene Napenas. And the question is In this day and age of social media, who do you think among the three has the most powerful voice in influencing others? A beauty queen a TikTok influencer or a politician. Again, in this day and age of social media, who do you think among the three has the most powerful voice in influencing others? A beauty queen, a TikTok influencer, or a politician? As a beauty queen, I think the most influential is of course a beauty queen. Because joining beauty pageants, I utilize social media to know what is right. And one thing that I've learned is that the most important sale in your life is to sell yourself to yourself. And it's a reminder to beauty queens that at the end of the day, the biggest and toughest critic that we have is ourselves. It's the same influence I bring in Lin Aysang Negros. That in order for me to showcase my potential with the help of the amazing people around me, is a woman who believed in herself first. Thank you. Thank you so much for that answer. Wow. Maliban sa abad sa negrense, abante, babae. Babae, tama. With that statement, who run the world? Girls. Girls. That's not a girl. <laughs> I have to agree. Maraming maraming salamat for answering the question. We are not yet done with our top 10. Third on the list is... Mm -hmm. Third on the list is... Lin Ai Sa! Hima Maila! Hello, congratulations. Alright, please pick right. the question. question. She is so excited. <laughs> okay. That Your is question number... is number five. Five, all right. And this is coming from Lars Pacheco. The question is, if you could advocate for a cause that is in line with the Abanza and Negrense vision, what would it be and why? Again, if you could advocate for a cause that is in line with the Abanza and Negrense vision, what would it be and why? If I could advocate for a cause that is in line with the Abanza and Negrense, it would be the welfare of our Negrense farmers. 
all we all we know that our underground farmer is the backbone of our province the the one who sells to that's the Negros of Sintata. And as a Bavarian Negros I want to be, to have, to give their, their access to technology resources and fair market shares. Because ang aton pala ang nagkabuhi para sa aton mga bang umuma. Madam, magiging salamat. Maraming maraming Thank salamat so din sa kasagutan niya. The Panad is living through our farmers. Yes. yes. We give the spotlight to our farmers as well. Pala po natin our farmers right here in Negros Occidental. Mabuhay po kayo. You are definitely heroes. All right. We are down to our last fourth. Seventh. Oh, seven candidates na lang natin. Yes. To complete our top ten. And our fourth finalist is Lynn Isa. The golden girl is smiling right now. Talisa, please, she's a number. Okay, and she has chosen one. Question number one. And this is from Kata Figueroa Jr. Easy question for some, but this is complicated. The one do you say no? That's simple. Again, the question is, when do you say no? I do believe that each and every one of us are entitled to our own boundaries. And I believe it is time to say no when those boundaries are at stake. And with that, I encourage everyone to know your boundaries, know where you start, where you stand. Because at the end of the day, it is us, it is ourselves that we represent and not other people. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, Romy, you. I find that question very difficult. Parang di ko rin ba ano pa how Actually, to answer. At first, it looks easy, yeah, it looks but easy. it's so difficult. Yeah. But she said. But she said, know your boundaries. You should know when to say when no. When to say no? Yeah. Exactly. Grabe. Oh. I'm so proud of our Linais. <laughs> Look at our judges. Hirap na hirap kayo sila. Okay, pa ba? Okay, okay pa. Ba? <laughs> They're enjoying the moment right now. Okay. All right. Move on to our fifth finalist for tonight. Joining our top ten is Lin Isa. The Papa Seo Taisa Clincher. Congratulations, Lin Isa. Another Lin I in a beautiful blue gown. Or in a beautiful blue gown. Okay, rather, let's have this question. Question number seven. And this is coming from Ann Collis. The question goes, what qualities do you think a modern leader should possess and how do you demonstrate these qualities in your daily life? Again, what qualities do you think a modern leader should possess and how do you demonstrate these qualities in your daily life? Our society faces plenty of problems and I think that our leader should be someone who actually listens to the people. Because what we speak and what we stand for means nothing at the end of the day if our leaders would never listen to what us would always say. And I think as a Lin Aysan Negros, I believe that, and as an advocate for mental health, I think that this is the best time to insert my advocacy. Because I want the leaders right now to know how important it is to give importance to a person's mental health and I think that this stigma should be ended for a better and progressive Negros Occidental. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ninay so sagay. Actually what you said is true. Yeah, no? Someone who listens. Yep. Yeah. With all the voices right now, too Ooh. much noises we need. Right, right. People who would who listen. Listen to you. Okay. Yeah. We're learning, we're learning a lot then learning after our lit eyes. Galing, galing. Grabe. All right, let's move on to our next finalist. That is Lit Eyes. He digger She's excited. Okay, good evening. 
We're excited to hear your thoughts, especially as you answer question number four. And this question comes from Blanche Marie Brown Agbayani. The question goes, for you, what is the difference between a mistake and failure? Again, for you, what is the difference between a mistake and failure? Are you ready to answer? Okay. There is mistake when you try, but there is failure when you do not try. I remember the festival costume I fell down. It was not a failure, but rather a mistake. And I hope that everyone gets to see this message, that regardless of what we are as a person, regardless of what we have experienced in life, as long as we are trying, as long as we keep on continuing, then there is no failure, as long as we are learning. Provincias en Negro Occidental, maayong gabi! Thank you! Beautiful. <laughs> I think I need a notebook. Yeah. I need those quotable quotes yes. in my life. Yes. Keep on trying. Keep on trying. Okay, and I see no mistake and it's no a, failure yes. right here on the stage. Because it's a failure when you don't try. Yep, yep. So thank you for trying, ladies. Thank you. Now Love let's it. see her luck as she tries to yes, answer the question. Of course, let's call in Lina Isa! Kabakalan! Another golden girl. I love the outfits by the way. Congratulations all designers. Okay. Kabangkalano will try to answer question number two. And this is coming from one of my favorite chinitos. Oh, sorry. Cherry Atilano. Cherry asks, if you could change one non-physical thing about yourself, what would it be? If you could change one non-physical thing about yourself, what would it be? I believe if, if I would be given a chance to change one non-physical thing about myself it would be my hesitations to fail when i try to reach my dreams i believe that when it comes to reaching our dreams we should take all the risks because regardless of the possibilities of the failures that we have as long as we try as long as we do something we will achieve the dreams that we have and especially at this time there's a lot of criticisms and bashings that i receive but i believe in myself i believe in my dream and I know that I will achieve every dream that I have, regardless of the hesitations, because I believe in myself. I am me, and I am a proud Caban Kalanon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lin Aisam Caban Kalan. Answering with so much vigor and passion. Yes. Brave. Now we've already met seven Lin Ais for her top ten. May tatlo pa. May tatlo pa. Before we continue, I'd just like to say congratulations for the production. Yes. Because this is such a good segment. Derecho. Let's give the production a big round of applause. The creatives behind Lin Ais San Negros 2024. I That's love right. the procedure right here. Yes. Beautiful. And nako, yung isa ko pang gusto pa lang pakal talaga yung judges natin. Seven pa lang yun, ha? May hirapan I think they're trying to answer the questions themselves, but you know what they say, it takes eight to be great. Let's see if that's true with our eighth person on the list. All right, and that goes to Lin Aisam. La Castellana! Eighth spot for top ten. Good evening. Okay. Last three questions, and you have chosen. Oh, from my favorite Chinito. One of my favorites, Randy C. The question is What is your motivation for the crown? Are you competing to win or are you afraid to lose? Again, Randy asks What is your motivation for the crown? Are you competing to win or are you afraid to lose? You can answer now. 
I do believe that no person can measure the amount of effort and everything that I've put then been through just to be on this stage. But I would rather win the hearts of Evan Negrenses because I do believe that I want to be known for my essence rather than just my title. I do believe that I want to be an inspiration to each and everyone, may it be the different forms of life, because I know that I want to be a symbol of hope, empowerment, and I am proud to say that I am a proud babae Negrosanon. Avance Negrense! Abanse, wow. Thank you so Thank you. much. Abanse. Wow, so she'd rather win the hearts of the Negrenses. Yes. But I'm pretty sure if anyone who will win the hearts of the Negrenses will win the crown also. That's diba? true. Oh. But in this competition, I just have to say that nobody loses. It's either yes. you win or you learn. And you continue exactly. to inspire every single exactly. one. Exactly. Right here. Yes. All right, grabe. It's speechless ako talaga sa mga sagot ng Lynn Eyes natin. Yeah. Woo. So guys, are you ready to meet your ninth finalist? Is oh, everyone ready, ready to meet their ninth finalist? And that a lot. I think they're... Kinakabahan din sila. They're oh, nervous. Oh, waiting in anticipation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> your ninth finalist is Lynn Eyes. So... Congratulations. That's walk of confidence. Okay, she has chosen question number eight. Question number eight is from the governor's office. And Gov Bong asks you, would you rather win tonight's crown or the hearts of Negrenses? Again, the question is, would you rather win tonight's crown or the hearts of Negrenses? If I were to choose between the two, I would rather win the heart of the Negrenses because I stand here not only to represent, but I want to become an ideal babaeng Negrosanon. And to become a babaeng Negrosanon, she has to have the power. The power to influence the people around her, to uplift the unheard voices, and make a meaningful difference towards the life of others. Because I strongly believe that a true queen is not measured by the crown on her head or the sash across her shoulder, but rather it is through the values that she shares that create a difference towards the lives of people. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Lin Ai, Sam Elon. Just like what we had a while ago. Similar yeah. question. Similar question. She attacked it a different yeah, way. Yeah, different attacks and answers. Nala. Grabe. Oh, nine down, Woo. one more to go. Last one. But, but before that, ladies and gentlemen, I just have to say that we need to give our Lin Eyes a big round of applause. Of it is not an easy journey to be right here. Difficult right. task, difficult journey, but they embrace it uh -huh. head on. So to our beautiful Lin Eyes, Good job for Congratulations, representing your Thank you so much. That's thank right. you. Thank you. Okay. Let us announce our last finalist to complete our top 10. And that is Linai Song. Silai, getting the last spot for our top 10. Grave. Congratulations and again to our beautiful Lynn Eyes. Please give them a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank you. Thank you, ladies. We really appreciate you, ladies, so much. Yes. Okay. All right. You picked question number last question. 10. The last question also. It's from the Sangguniang Panalawigan. And the question is, social networking is one of the most active activities in the country. How can you encourage social media users to use this platform for good? Again, social networking is one of the most active activities in the country. How can you encourage social media users to use this platform for good? One of the projects in the Ambassador Negrense Development Plan is to encourage 
safety and security for all Negro Salmons. And I believe that we should encourage and we should exercise social networking as well while practicing safety and security because now cyber crime is relevant in our country, especially the teens and children are experiencing this one. So as Negro Salmons, let us encourage and I will do that and I will use this platform to encourage each and every one of you using social media as well to be a productive and good Negro Sanans. Malamog din salamat kung mayong gabi. Thank you for the answer. Thank you so much, Lenai Sangsilai and Negros Occidental. Those are your top 10 finalists. Congratulations, ladies. How I wish I could announce more names talaga because they all deserve it. And of course, all of you guys did so well in this competition. We are so proud of yes, you. Yes, we're so proud of you. And I'm sure the LGUs are very proud of you. Yes, okay? that's but right. We are so sure that you have made your LGUs and your families uh -huh. and friends so proud. So again, let's give all of our candidates a big round of applause. Truly great job. But how I believe that yes. our remaining candidates deserve a lovely serenade. So with Ooh. that, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and the only Mr. Gary, Gary Barrera! Barrera.